Hey, you guys are watching Essence of Zen videos, and we're going to talk about a controversy when it comes to Disney princesses, and most specifically, Merida from the movie Brave. So, uh, again, sorry about the mess. I explained it in the previous video. Um, I'm redoing my room, and it's taking too long, and I want to go ahead and get these videos taken care of. So, let's go ahead and move on over to my computer screens so we can focus on that. Shall we? Alright, I'm a little upset. When I first switched over to the monitor, the audio had just got completely butchered. Ah, oh, so disappointing. Anyway, I gotta say this all over again. So, as you can see here from the Huffington Post, which I will uh, put a link to in the description below, um, Disney wants to redo or kind of change the form factor that Merida from the movie Brave looks or portrays as. They want to make her a little bit more dainty, fit into this more stereotype form factor. You can see here that um, her weight is is lowered and it doesn't, it doesn't need to say that she was um, like a healthy or a weighty person in the original look but they just made her look like anorexic if uh, whatever. Now I don't remember if I said this in the, the original intro, but this this video is not about um, saying how a woman or a female protagonist should be portrayed, or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But there is a stereotype, and we need to go ahead and break that stereotype. In my opinion, I'm a big advocate for you know equality, for equal rights, both uh, genders, all races, all religions, etc. Now. The whole process of changing one's character to where fans say that all the because Disney's redoing the entire princess, um, like giving all, every princess a makeover. Supposedly, it's a rumor. That's what I hear from various sources, as well as uh, my personal friends and sources who are big into Disney. But most fans want to see the previous original princesses, you know, be more like Merida. Because she is such a strong, leading, brave female protagonist. And it, it was a refresher. The movie itself was actually really uh, heartwarming, you know. It's a, a definite mother-daughter movie. And if I say this before in the previous um, on-camera intro, forgive me. I had to take Keenan Watt because he interrupted the middle of the first time I was doing this uh, recording. And I don't remember what I said in the actual original or if I, rec if I covered that in the intro or... In the take one of the, this recording, but anyway, that to me is a a, a big no no. I, I do not. I, Merida was perfect the way she was, you know, in the original movie. She was my favorite female protagonist. I'm pretty sure of like any movie or any animated movie I've seen thus far because it was such a refresher to have some some a uh, a writer a creator to make this. Um, female protagonist so that she will not fit a stereotype, she will not conform to someone else's ide um, ideology of what a lady should be like because in, in real life terms the term ladylike is subjective and is an umbrella term to one's personal opinion. You can't say she's not ladylike because because she just isn't. You can say she's not ladylike in your opinion but there is no right or wrong way that a woman can be like a lady. It's, uh, I mean, there are, you know, the common um, thoughts and and ideals, but they vary from different place to different place. Uh, I'm trying to get you know, say this without getting too into um, controversy, controversy topics or whatever. But as I was saying, we need more female protagonist characters in cartoons, movies, regardless, to be more like Merida. She is not the obnoxious uh, stereotype of a feminist, because uh, not all feminists are bad. People say, you know, feminists only care about um, A, B, and C. There are good feminists, there are bad feminists, just like there are, there are uh, good maleist and bad maleness, this, people who support male. Uh, rights and whatnot. 
you cannot judge every single person that falls under a term by the actions of one individual okay that's why I believe Merida was the perfect concoction of um, what, 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 what am I here uh, the the perfect example of how a strong brave uh, charismatic um, individual of a, of a female protagonist and now I'm just kind of saying the same things over but I really want to stress that point I mean you could I, I would like if you have a your own opinion of someone who is more a, a more fitting example than Merida please leave a comment below and I, I, I'll make a, a part two to this and compare it and give you my opinions yet again but so far I have I have yet to see in any like Pixar or Disney movie or any animated film where a lead female protagonist is portrayed anywhere better or uh, more precise or more efficient or as on point as Merida from the movie Brave. That being said, the reasons why we should not go from her original to this is the, the, the simple showcase of uh, the problems of how story writers, movie curators, filmmakers, you know, yada yada yada, will try to place women. Look, for perfect example, one of my favorite um, creators of all time is Lauren Faust. She is one of the I mean, she has always wanted to make a, a cartoon about, uh, you know, women or female characters who are the lead characters and portray them as strong individuals. And I don't want to say, you know, oh, I'm a strong, independent woman that need no man because that, that, that's, that's, that, that, that's within itself is another stereotype. But just to have a character who's a woman who can stand on her own that, that is brilliant and when she came out with the uh the cartoon uh my little pony friends uh friendship is magic to be honest i've, I've seen like two or three episodes and i gotta say it, it is actually not as girly as i thought i actually enjoyed some bits and pieces of it it's not my type of cartoon per se because there's not enough action and it is a little too colorful i do not like the, the, the it's 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 uh, how, how I put it. If it's gonna be colorful, I like to see a lot of saturation with um, use of, of full range. A lot of the cartoon is pillowcase colors and you know very vibrant, but they're really high in contrast and uh, a, a lot. Like I don't want to say this to say like a uh, like too feminine, but there's too much pink, too much bright yellow. It 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 it, it just I don't like it. But that's just me. The art style is awesome. But I would just the color choice isn't me. It's kind of the same reason why I couldn't watch Powerpuff Girls for uh, an extended period of time because all of the the popping colors weren't saturated or had a uh, a gradient. You know, it, it was all kind of like pillow case colors. And that, same, same thing with and, and, okay. So uh, one that's not as girly cartoon, Foster's Home for Imaginary Children. There are some episodes where the color is just too popping for me, and I was like, okay, I can't really, uh, it's like blah. Other times it wasn't when they actually had characters of a, of a darker color to compare to other bright characters into a, a middle-toned uh, environment. But that's just me again, personally. When Lauren Frost, Frost excuse me, created My Little Pony, originally um, the, the, the head of the, the, the top horse uh, fans are gonna kill me for not knowing whatever the the top princess the one who <clears throat> the little blue one is supposed to be placed in the future she was originally going to be called a queen but uh, I think Cartoon Network or no Disney whoever bought you know whoever the the station this, this show comes on said that Whenever you find a queen, most children believe queens to be evil because of, you know, the classic Disney cartoons where you had, like, Maleficent and... and it's, it's, it was, it was a, a horrible excuse, in my opinion. So she felt like, okay, you're not going to let me have a queen be in charge of a positive role model for little girls everywhere. So now i got to go and call every single uh, female protagonist pony a princess although technically she should be a queen that within itself is a problem right there the, the fact that little girls will view queens as being evil or, or queens that are 
all powerful to be evil. That that is ridiculous. So why would you want to conform positive role models and make them into a stereotype? Which personally, uh, people that I know even find a little too weird looking. As in, I, I, you can say you know women after maturity have uh, a natural curvy you know ness to them. That's understandable. But when you have it to the point where the proportions between the hip arcs and the collarbone and the shoulder are borderline saying we want little girls to be anorexic because this is how you should grow up to be that, that, that no no you're trying to say that every single princess I want to say you know exclude uh, Mulan and some of the other princesses should be waiting on and have people do all their biddings and not be able to stand on their own two feet no we want to see more people like Merida who decides to be their selves. We want to see more people who like um, Mulan who says, I can do anything that a man can do and possibly even better depending on the individual because I know there are some women in the world who are sometimes bigger than me that can beat me or you know, play basketball better than me, draw better than me, play uh, my saxophone better than me. It's, gender should not have any of the boundaries that they do and it, it, it is ridiculous and you, know, you can blame the culture or how people are raised uh, again I don't want to get too controversial but a lot of it stems from either religion or household uh, just how you were raised and I believe that's the problem we need more writers more story writers uh, creators who can make more characters like Merida and for the opposite effect, even on the on the male end of the spectrum, we need more characters who can uh, have a, a a male influence that is actually more specific or more positive for young young male audience. And I again, I know this video was, was supposed to be more about Merida and the whole controversy over the the the, the rumored wanting of change, but. I, if you think about it, I believe all the topics that I covered fits into a reasonable source of uh, comparison for this actual topic. She doesn't need to change, not one bit, you know, uh, not at all. I mean, to be honest, she's also like, a, I don't know if she's typically an actual gender because I don't see any freckles, but you know what they say about people with orange slash red hair. I mean, it's, I, I, it, it, they were... <laughs> There was just so much good that came from this movie, and I believe the changes will trample that good. And of, of course, you know, for people who are older, or people who are, uh, I don't want to make this sound bad for people who may consider themselves not what I'm about to say, but people who are intelligent and who can say, okay, well, you know, even if they do change it, uh, I'm not going to be affected by this, that's perfectly fine. But you got to understand, most individuals aren't you. Most individuals. Um, who went to see this movie were little kids who will, you know, imagine yourself back in the day when you watch a cool movie and like, oh, I want to be just like that. Basically, basically, especially in America, you know, overweight problems and and uh, how we treat women is a, a main issue that should be talked about more. But she's not overweight. She she deserves more respect and she 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 got it she she did things on her own there's there's nothing bad that was about matter to you you want to say you don't like her hair that that's fine a lot of people don't like uh, African Americans hair black people hair it, 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 because it's, it's kinky and they say oh that's bad hair no that's just how our hair are it, our hair is naturally I have dreadlocks it doesn't mean I, I smoke pot I don't it doesn't mean I'm unintelligent. I, I, I've, been, I've been on a ding list at my previous university. I, I graduated with a 3.0 without really... It was, uh, it was higher than 3.3 no, for, for high school. And I could have did a lot better. I could have put more effort. I'm, I'm lazy because my school was um, annoying. I, there, there was a lot of things that I didn't like, so I, I did not give it my all. I still have problems with giving my all in terms of things that I don't find interesting. But... You, because you don't like her hair, you think she's not ladylike, or because you don't like her hair, you think she's not uh, a perfect role model for a, a woman. There is no need to to change Merida at all. Uh, my friend um, Alex also says she wants she wanted me to go into the, the Scottish lore, 
and I think I'll do that on uh, a part two of this video eventually but just for the simple fact there I, 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 I don't really know exactly everything what she meant but in the Scottish lore but I think it's meant like um how in history Scottish women were portrayed and I can go into a lot of other, and I will in another edition to this video, it won't be anytime soon, but maybe two or three weeks later after I get some feedback from people who will view this, either leave a comment in the messages or email me or, or friends on Facebook will let me know what they think. But I can go ahead and tell you this right now, look back into other cultures like uh, Spartans who treated their women with the utmost respect, who basically ran the more logical side of their, their civilization. The women in Sparta would uh, tease the men who they found weak to do something better. The women would uh, take pride and stand on their own two feet as well as use the support from the men, their husbands, or, you know, etc. Now, there are a lot of bad things with the Spartan culture as well. I'm not, okay, there's, there's good and bad with everything. But a lot of Scottish, Viking, Norse, uh, culture and you know women did play bigger parts than you you would expect at a certain timeline but again we're getting into a lot of issues that are controversy when it comes to religion and culture and uh i'll probably make a video about that on my personal channel but personally again merida find the way she is I, I do not want to see a revise, change, nothing. She had character development. It was great character development. Um, uh, great character beforehand. She wasn't flat. She wasn't static. The change was it was it too unbelievably or un you know or, or too dramatic to the point where it was like okay this is getting ridiculous. Everything was in, in my opinion was on point and I know there are people who are going to disagree with me on that and just say uh, again it's kind of controversy but say that's not women that's not how women should be or that's not what I believe a woman to, to be and you know what that's okay if you don't believe that's how a woman should be but if you look into today's society around the world women are important people are important there is not one I'm, I'm, I'm repeating myself uh, we're gonna end this video here uh, part two will probably come out in maybe two weeks from now uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments or on uh, our Facebook page so there we go ladies and gentlemen um, I kind of got a little or uh, I went a little off tangent only to try to give uh, support for the over the over I'm tired. The overall theme of this video, which is there are stereotypes in the world. We need to break them. And specifically dealing with this one about women and their overall uh, appearance, we need we need to see more female lead protagonists, and they need to not fit a general stereotype, and they need to be portrayed positively. Uh, that being said, there's a lot of other stuff I, I really want to go into about um, still the method effect, and I won't have enough time. Well, I do, I could make enough time, but I want to get the feedback of viewers, friends, um, and I also got check out other forums and read their you know, other people reactions to it. And based on that, two or three weeks from now, I will do part two to this um, situation. And I might do a live uh, a live event for it. And if it's a live event, I want you guys to let me know if you want to take part in it. And you know why, you know what are your stances. And you can do this by either you know leaving a comment below saying I would like to participate in the live discussion two or three weeks from now, or you can go to uh, EOZ Facebook page. It will be linked in the description below, and you can say I would like to be in the the, the live discussion two or three weeks from now. You can go to my Google Plus page. You can email me. Uh, you can email this channel's email, which is I think uh, ZenStudiosEasy at gmail.com. 
I know why are you guys called Essence of Zen if your email is called Zen Studios. Long story, we're working on it. I think we should have it to the point where if you email Essence of Zen at g gmail dot com, or is it Essence of Zen easy? See, this is we're working on it. So most likely, just do the the former ways of contacting me or saying you want to be in the discussion. You can also um, tweet me and say you want to be in the discussion um, at Zane uh, at Zenokami, and that's it. Uh, thank you guys for, for viewing. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry it was kind of a long video. Um, I'm 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 really uh, disappointed with people, and I, I understand this this decision may not be a a fully thought through process, but uh, they need to see their impacts and implications. So take care.